Hi, this is Sharon, and welcome to Knit Style. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Knit Style, a podcast about knitting, spinning, hand dyeing, and occasionally sewing. So yeah, welcome everybody. I have a lot to show you today, so we'll get to that pretty quickly. But before we do, I wanted to say that I have a brand new website that I developed, and you can find everything over there on that website. You can watch the show. You can shop, although you can't shop directly from the website. The shop tab will take you to my Etsy store. But it's just easy to have everything all in one place. So yeah, on my Instagram profile, it's right in there. So you can click right through, watch the show, shop if you'd like, and it's all in one place. So the address is knitstyleyarns.com. You do not need www. Just type in knitstyleyarns.com into your browser and it should pop up. And I'll put a link in the description box down below to the new site. So let me know what you think of the site. Maybe leave a comment under the podcast tab. So there's a home page, a contact me page where you'll have you'll see my email and my Twitter handle and my Instagram handle and my Ravelry handle and then there will be a tab for the podcast where you'll see the show embedded right in that forum and you can leave comments there. It'd be great if you left me a comment. And then the last tab is the shop tab and if you click the links in there it will bring you directly to my Etsy shop. So. I'm very excited about the website. I think it came out nice. It looks very pretty. It's very simple, easy to navigate. I love a website where it's just a couple of clicks and you can find everything. So that's how I designed the site. Okay, so let's get going because I have a lot to show you. First thing is a work in progress and these are socks or one sock rather. And this yarn is by Nitty in Color, and it is in her creepy colorway in the 7525 nylon base, and I just love it. It's not self-striping, believe it or not. It is just how her variegated yarns knit up for me. So I love these. I knit them in the car on my way to work and on my way home to work every day because my husband drives. So that's pretty cool. And I'm knitting them top down. And I put in a heel flap this time. I haven't done a heel flap in a while. And this is just a simple slip stitch heel flap on the right side, slip one, knit one, and purl back on the wrong side. So yeah, I love how these are coming out. I should be on to the foot soon. I have to finish this slip stitch heel, turn the heel, do the gusset, and yeah, be on to the foot. So the only thing I have to look up is the heel turn. Hopefully I'll be beyond that next week. So yeah, that's those. Okay, so my next work in progress is the Easy Shawl by Martina Bem. And here's Martina wearing her beautiful shawl. And it's basically just two triangles knitted modularly together. And it's super easy. That's what I wanted. I just wanted something that I could pick up and just knit and not have to think about it. And here it is. This is in my own hand dyed yarn in the 100% merino base and it is the Halloween Horror Night colorway. And I'm absolutely loving how this colorway is knitting up. Those little blips of orange I think are beautiful. 
And when I knit this, I see all of this speckling. And this just makes me so happy when I see that going through my fingers. It doesn't make me happy to see a knot. <laughs> but the speckling makes me happy. So, yeah, so that's Easy by Martina Bem. And there's only one other thing that I've been working on, but it's a big thing. I've been working on the one-way tee, and last week you could see my progress was only two and a half inches. So let's see how far I've gotten this week. I really did a lot of knitting on this this week. This is why my other projects didn't get as much love, because I was obsessed with this sweater. This is the back. And I purchased a modification. I'm modifying it according to Amy Herzog's website, Custom Fit. And I love it. It's got beautiful lace detailing. And if you look at this lace, you won't be able to see it, but I can tell you I made a huge mistake. This center decrease was supposed to be a different stitch. So if you can see, I slipped one, knit two together, and passed the one slip stitch over, which makes kind of this, you can see this stitch kind of grabbing the other stitches. That's not what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to slip two knitwise, knit one, pass two over, which would give it a much more um, vertical, up and down look. I discovered this the other night when I was about here. You think I'm ripping it out? Absolutely not. I think it looks beautiful. And I, it's fine. So I'm leaving it. And I'm perfectly... Actually, I like it even better. I think it looks awesome. It gives a little more texture to it. So the other thing I could do... This is the back. I could do the front and the correct stitch. But I'm not going to. Because I like the way this looks. And no one will know but me. And you, if you see me at Rhinebeck wearing this sweater... <laughs> It'll be our little secret. So I'm hoping that I'll finish this by Rhinebeck time. And I should be able to because Rhinebeck is what? Four weeks away? And I'm a fourth done with the sweater? Or even more because this is pretty much a short sleeve sweater. I should be fine. So... Yeah, I'm excited. I, I'm loving knitting this. It's knit out of Plucky Knitter in the sweater base. And I'm sorry, I don't know the colorway. I always forget the colorway. All right, so that's basically all the knitting I've been doing. I have been doing a little spinning. And I've been spinning on my Hanson. I spun a little bit on my matchless, but I didn't bring that out. I just wanted to just bring this out. This is easier to... Un unassemble. So I purchased a lace flyer for my Hanson. It didn't come with the lace flyer. I didn't think I needed it and then after spinning that ginormous lace project last year I was kind of sorry that I didn't have it so I ordered it and I'm spinning a sock project on it now and I'm spinning it quite fine because it's going to be a three-ply. And I started off spinning it worsted style here, but I switched to from the fold, so it's a more woolen style now. And I think I'm gonna like the yarn much better because it's, it's a little bit toothy. It's Coradale, and I think it will be a little softer spun woolen style, so that's what I did. So I, I picked up this little gadget on Etsy from Hip Strings on Etsy 
And I had seen this little gadget on the Handmade in Woolen podcast with Jenny and Devin. And Devin was using it to measure his single widths. And it's got these little lines here and you can compare your singles to those lines to see if you're in the ballpark. And I like it, I've been, I've been using it. So hopefully these singles will be good for socks. Hopefully they won't be lace weight singles because they're pretty fine. We'll see, time will tell. And I hope they'll be consistent and this will, this will help me out. But I'm really enjoying spinning this. I'm not great at spinning it from the fold, but I'm hoping that this project will help me get better. So that's basically what you do is you grab a, grab a staple length, fold it over your finger, and then spin from there. And yeah, so I'll get some practice doing that. And I love the lace flyer. It's so responsive. I wish I had had it for that other project, but I will be spinning another lace project, I'm sure, come January or so, and I'll use that flyer, and I, re I really like it. It's very responsive. I was reading reviews of it, and it said it's much more responsive than the regular flyer for fine spinning, and I find that to be very true. So I'm very, very happy with it. I got some things in the mail this week, and the first thing I'm gonna show you I opened, I, I like to open things on the show, but I didn't think this was for me. I thought it might be for Rich, and it was for me. So it is little mini skeins, and they are so adorable. So here's a little handful of them. There's 20 of them. They're four grams each. Look at this one so pretty but this was from the sock yarn swappers Ravelry group and you can sign up there to get mini skeins from dyers and these are beautiful this is from yarn at home mom each of them are 20 yards and about four grams and I hope they're big enough for my blanket they should be if they're not I can always use two so, all the names of the colorways are on here. I wouldn't know which is which. I'd have to go on her website to figure that out. But these are beautiful. She's a really beautiful dyer. So, I love these. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I did have a package to open on the show today, but I recorded this entire show and forgot to turn my microphone on. So I'm re-recording right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little annoyed, but I'm not letting it get me down. <laughs> so I opened this when I recorded before, and I saw what was inside. So it's cool. I'll show it to you right now. So this is my fourth shipment from the Martina Bem Shawl Club that I joined this year. No, I'm sorry, this is my third shipment. I have one more shipment to go. And when I opened the package, this popped out, an iceberg. And it's very pretty, this picture. So the yarn is Volmisa in this beautiful colorway called Nautic Miles, which is silver gray, charcoal gray, and teal. Just beautiful. Love it. Here is the pattern. And it's this really pretty shawl with points, which I love because it's easy to wrap around your neck. So, the description of the shawl, the name of it is Puerto Mont. Striking and intense dramatic color and contrast and fascinating geometric shapes are what you can see if you board a ship in Puerto Mont in the very south of Chile 
and travel a few nautic miles to the Laguna San Rafael, where a bright teal-colored glacier lies between dark rocks. And if you are lucky, you can see chunks of the ice break off and fall spectacularly into the water. My husband and I spent a year in Chile and we took our baby son to a cruise to this place because I insisted I needed to see the glacier. So she designed this pattern after this beautiful glacier and Volmaisa designed the yarn and I love it. It's gorgeous. So, how many yards? It's like 500 yards usually in a Volmaisa skein and I'm really looking forward to knitting this up. She did a lot of blues this year. My first shipment I was actually expecting a fall color. Uh, I was not expecting a blue color because this first shipment was also blue. A light, light teal, which I love, but yeah, I, it's not what I expected, but I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. So I'm looking forward. I love that shawl. I'm looking forward to casting that on. So. I didn't work on this this week because of other things, but anyway, that's my first shipment that I got from Martina, and I'm really enjoying it. The only thing is, it's you need to think about it because it has a lace detail, and right now I just need brainless kind of knitting, so I'm putting this aside for the moment. So that's okay. I'll get back to it. Maybe after Rhinebeck. Okay, you wanna see some yarn? <laughs> Let's go window shopping. So if you're not interested in looking at my shop update news, it's completely fine. I will see you again next week and you can see all everything that I've been knitting and spinning. But yeah, let's get started with what I'm going to have on Tuesday for the shop update. So the shop update will be this Tuesday, September 13th at 8 p.m. and Probably going forward, my shop updates will be on Wednesdays. This week I couldn't do it on Wednesday, so it's still gonna stay on Tuesdays, but I kinda need an extra day. So moving forward after this week, the shop updates will be on Wednesdays. So I will have some more Squirtle in my shop. These come out, came out beautifully. There's a little bit of white in them, but I don't think it detracts from the color. I mean, this is dyed in a very shallow pan, like in a speckle technique. So I tried to get all the white covered, but that was not successful, but it's fine. I still think it's beautiful. So that's Squirtle based on Pokemon Go. So I had a request for Fallen Fairy, so I dyed up two skeins of that. And this is in my 2-ply 80-20 Merino Nylon base. And I just love this color. I'm obsessed with it. It's got these beautiful peaches and teals, but then there's this dirty aspect of it that's just cool. So, I have two skeins of that. I'm going to have to dye myself a skein of this. It needs to be a shawl. And some girls from my knitting group loved this color, so I'm going to be dyeing more for them. So, so of course, I have more Halloween Horror Night. This is on the trendy base, which is the 7525 four ply and I love it came out great and I got in a new base sparkle Halloween Horror Night had to be dyed in sparkle it had it just had to happen and yeah I think bling makes everything better I love it so, I have to say, this is a very soft Stellina in this, and you can't feel it on your foot. It's not rough at all. 
And I have to tell you that my socks that I have in this type of base with the Stellina are my absolute favorites. They wear like iron, they're soft and comfortable. I just love my socks out of this base. So if you haven't tried it, try it. It's, it's, it's really nice, it's really nice yarn. I also dyed up two skeins on my 100% merino base. There's no nylon in these. Great for socks if you don't mind not having nylon. Or a shawl, or mitts, or sock head hat. This is Halloween Horror Night again. This is what I'm knitting my shawl from this base, and I love it. So I came up with two new colorways this week. For those of you who may be new to the show, I live just south of the town of Poughkeepsie, which is south of the town of Rhinebeck. And Rhinebeck, of course, is where the largest sheep and wool festival is held every year in October, the largest one in the United States. So I love that festival. It's my local festival. I attend every year. I have taught there. I just really, really enjoy that festival. So I had to dye a colorway. So I had to dye a Rhinebeck colorway. And here it is. I am extremely happy with it. There are four skeins in this color. And the name of the colorway is Rhinebeck Weekend. And I love how they're a little crazy with speckling. Beautiful, crazy fall colors. Because if you've ever been to Rhinebeck or have heard about Rhinebeck, you know that it's a crazy time. So I think this colorway is a great depiction of that. I love this skein right here. And there is one sparkly one because bling makes everything better, of course. And it's beautiful. So yeah. Rhinebeck weekend. It's coming up. About a month. I'm super excited about it. I will be there both days. One of the days I will have my husband in tow. Last year he couldn't come because he hurt himself. He fell off a ladder and injured his leg and could not walk <laughs> for months. So yeah, this year he's good. He's healthy. So he'll be with me. I, if the kids want to come, they're welcome. So yeah, it should be a good time. I will be at the podcaster meetup, of course. And if you see me in the festival, please feel free. Come up to me, give me a hug, say hi. I, I love meeting new people. That's why I do this. Okay. I have one new colorway to show you. I have been dyeing some tonals and kind of variegated tonals, really. And this one, I think, came out really nice. Um, it's a fall colorway. And wait for it. Here it is. This is called Slutty Pumpkin. And of course, it is a reference to How I Met Your Mother and the character of Slutty Pumpkin that they were chasing every year at Halloween time. Okay, I gotta get that to focus. And I just love how this came out. It has these intense oranges and some beautiful rusts 
and browns and brownish tans and I just love how it came out. So this is on my shawl base and I have four of them. Two of them are still drying. Okay, so I also got some DK yarn to dye because it's hat season and mitten season so if you want a quick project a gift I dyed some DK yarn in Zin I have two skeins of it and I adore this adore it it's 100% super fine merino it is soft oh my goodness it's so soft it's just as soft as an MCN, honestly. It's beautiful. It's a little of a beefier skein. It has um, 115 yards, or, I'm sorry, 115 grams, 250 yards for a DK weight. And I love it. So that's in the Zin color. And over there drying, I also have two more skeins of Zin in the sock weight in the 7525 Merino Nylon Blend for ply. So for those who would like to knit socks from that color, I have two skeins over there for you. So I had someone ask me about that last week. So I've been busy, but it's fun. I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all those skeins. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section on the YouTube channel, or you can leave them on the Knit Style website under the podcast, or you can leave them in Ravelry under the episode thread. So yeah, if you have any questions, do that. I also have, I have to keep meaning to remind you guys, I have a Ask the Stitch Mistress thread in my Ravelry group, Knit Style on Ravelry, and it's just a, a forum where you can ask me a question, and ask a question, and I'll do my best to answer. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, put some questions in there, and yeah, that'll give me something to research and talk about on future shows. So that's about it. <sighs> Second time around. <laughs> A little behind the scenes for you today. <sighs> Hopefully it came out this time. I'm glad I noticed it when I did, when I still had light. So that was cool. But anyway, enough of that. So my update will be again on Tuesday, September 13th, 2016 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm going to tell you the coupon code for the Downseller Studio podcast pigskin party. I'm going to tell you that right now. You don't have to go in the thread and look, look it up. If you did that last week, great. Join the pigskin party knit along. It's really fun. If you use my yarn, you get extra points, apparently. So if you use any of the yarn or bags sponsored by uh, people who are sponsoring the knit along, you get extra points for the knit along. The coupon code to get 10% off my shop through September 30th is Pigskin Party 2016, all in caps. So yeah, take advantage of that in the update, or there's some skeins right in, in, a few skeins left in the shop from last week's update if you want to take a look. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. Happy knitting. Cheers.